Wildfires have plagued human civilization for centuries, but things seem to be getting worse now. While they have ecological benefits in historic fire regimes, the damage done by fires to our modern society is significant. The year is 2021, and we have seen record-breaking wildfires already. From California's Dixie Fire to the scorching fires of Italy, Greece, Turkey, and even Siberia, which is one of the coldest regions covered with permafrost, was not spared. From 2011 to 2020, there were an average of 62,805 wildfires per year and an average of 7.5 million acres impacted or burnt annually. With the progress of climate change, many regions around the world are becoming drier with increasing temperatures, which could fuel more fires. So Leslie, we're living in a warmer and a drier world. And with climate change, we're going to continue to see conditions that make fires more likely. And as climate conditions make vegetation and other fuels that are on the ground today more flammable, it's likely we'll see more fires, and the fires that do start will be more extreme. So they might burn faster, they might have a more lasting impact on ecosystems, and they'll definitely be harder to suppress. So as the climate's been warming, we're seriously interested in tracking how fires and fire behavior has been changing. Absolutely. Furthermore, the fires release large quantities of gases such as carbon monoxide, causing respiratory illnesses and deaths, especially in our vulnerable populations. Finally, wildfires can contribute to further climate change by releasing excess carbon dioxide emissions and even reverse some of the positive effects of reforestation. Sensitive ecosystems such as the Great Amazon Rainforest are being disturbed heavily by increasing fires, especially since 2019. This is causing tremendous loss of biodiversity along with collateral damage from deforestation, mining, and agriculture. But what if there's a way to detect these fires and act fast to prevent large-scale destruction? It is said that prevention is better than cure, and indeed, this is a story of hope and collaboration where people across the globe joined hands for developing artificial intelligence solutions for rapid wildfire detection. Companies such as Syntexis, which are based in Sao Paulo, Brazil, are changing the game of fire detection. The company monitors 8.7 million acres of forest and agricultural land across four biomes, including the Amazon forest. Syntexis installs 360-degree cameras on top of communication towers to capture images that are then sent to a monitoring center. Once there is fire or smoke detected on the images, it sends alerts and recommends firefighting actions. In just three years, they have dramatically reduced fire detection time from an average of 40 minutes to under five minutes. Nós não podemos permitir que o fogo atinja grandes proporções. Então é importante que a gente seja acionado rápido para que a gente combata o fogo ainda no seu início. Para o atendimento de uma emergência, cada segundo conta. Quando a gente recebe o aviso da ocorrência, o tempo de resposta é fundamental. Pode ser decisivo entre a vida e a morte. So far, the company has installed 50 towers distributed in Brazil. While Syntexis is not alone in its mission to stop wildfires, since there are many other companies around the world focusing on this issue, it does have a unique story of collaboration. To extend the customer reach and scale their business model to thousands of cameras with the capability of accurately and quickly detecting wildfire outbreaks, Omdena's AI capabilities come into play. Omdena is a global platform where organizations collaborate with diverse AI collaborators to build solutions. 47 data scientists from 22 countries joined the Omdena and Syntexis effort to create an AI-based wildfire detection system. To stop wildfires early on before further damage is caused, Omdena and Syntexis agreed to deal with day images in their first joint challenge and later on in a second challenge to improve the solution by dealing with night images. The Omdena team managed to successfully create a wildfire detection model with a high accuracy. The solutions were extremely successful in catching wildfires from 95 to 97% of the time. Here are the details of each step of the process which the Omdina team followed. The first step is dataset creation. 
In order for computer models to detect wildfires or any feature for that matter, we need to teach it to recognize it by feeding hundreds or thousands of carefully labeled images of that feature. Just like human babies learn to identify things with repetitive exposure, computers need to learn in the same manner. Therefore, the most important requirement for an artificial intelligence-based detection system is an extensive dataset of images or videos for training the model. For this challenge of wildfire detection, the initial dataset contained footage and images from different cameras with and without fire outbreaks happening. The OMDINA team had nearly 7,600 images of 1920 by 1080 size, including day images without fire outbreaks, day images with fires, and some night images, approximately 16% to start labeling. Additionally, an algorithm was developed by a team member to successfully extract images from the video footage and at the same time avoid the generation of images with the same landscape among them. This initiative added another 1,150 images to the dataset. The next step is labeling. Once the image dataset is prepared, it is important to label the features of interest to train the detection model to recognize it. In this case, the fires and smoke in the images were of primary interest. Therefore, 20 people from the OMDINA team joined the labeling task. The team used an amazing site called Labelbox for labeling fire and smoke features. It is a great tool available for computer vision by allowing labeling data, managing its quality, and operating a production training data pipeline. After creating a carefully labeled dataset, it was split into training and testing datasets. The larger training dataset lets the model learn the fire and smoke features and the smaller testing set contains images which the model has not seen before to predict fires, which is essentially the real test. After this dataset split, the actual detection model was created. Before the model was created, a literature review was conducted to determine the state-of-the-art methods to detect wildfires in camera images. Algorithms and architectures based on neural networks, which are modeled after the human brain, were tested in various formats. The primary neural network used is called a convolutional neural network. This type of network does feature extraction on images and classifies them based on abundant training data as we saw earlier. The idea behind a convolutional neural network is that you filter the images before training the deep neural network. After filtering the images, features within the images could then come to the forefront and you would then spot those features to identify something. Check out the results for some filters, like this one that when multiplied over the contents of the image, it removes almost everything except the vertical lines. And this one, that removes almost everything except the horizontal lines. With this methodology, your network starts to learn based on the features of the image instead of just the raw patterns of pixels. Two sleeves, it's a shirt. Two short sleeves, it's a t-shirt. Sole and laces, it's a shoe, that type of thing. In this exact same way, convolutional neural networks were able to extract fire and smoke features from the images in the training dataset. With a focus on daytime images, the system developed by OMDINA collaborators is accurate in identifying smoke and flames more than 95% of the time, dramatically increasing wildfire detection accuracy and reducing the time until firefighters are called onto the scene. This AI-based solution will enable rapid response times and reduce the impacts of wildfires when scaled. At first, this solution will be applied in Brazilian forests and farms and later has the potential to be globally implemented. This is just one example of how AI has been used for solving real-world problems and social issues. Omtena has worked on dozens of AI for good projects and there are numerous examples of how teams across the globe have made a positive impact with AI. At OMDINA, our mission is to use AI to create a positive change. It's amazing what we can build to change the world with a strong community and the power of AI. It's our responsibility to build the future technologies to change the world. Let's build tech for good. We hope that you learned something new from this video, so please do like this video, share it on your network, and subscribe to our channel for more. So be safe, stay tuned for new videos, and thank you so much for watching.